Today I thought I'd demonstrate how to scale an oscillator to one volt per octave by using lizard view patterns on an oscilloscope. This is a great method because you don't have to listen to the oscillator tones which is incredibly annoying and it's also very accurate and easy to get great results. So for this example I'm going to be using a System X oscillator by Frequency Central with the heater mod uh, designed by Fitzgrave from the Muffmiddler forum. And because there's large temperature swings in my studio at the moment, I thought I'd give it a go just running it at full temperature to get it as hot as I can. Um, the actual temperature preset pot on, on the board actually does um, interact with the scaling circuit um, for the rest of the oscillator. So once you've set what your temperature is going to be, this uh, pot we then just have to leave. Okay, so first we're going to have to get everything up to temperature. I've got a little thermometer connected to the chip that we need to monitor. Um, I've also connected a frequency counter and an oscilloscope on its triangle output so we can see what's going on. Okay, so if I switch the power on, and instantly we can see the waveform going higher in pitch. We can see the pitch rising there. Another user manual for the System 100 will actually say to leave all equipment on for half an hour to let everything settle down. Um, so that's what we'll do. If I, if I can set that there, we then we'll see how much it changes in half an hour's time. Okay, back in a bit. OK, so now the temperatures in the pitch of the oscillator have stabilised, we can start the calibration. As you can see, the chip's running a lot hotter now, 41 degrees. Um, just the frequency of the oscillator. OK, so the next step is that we introduce a 100 Hz sine wave into the other channel of the scope. So let's have a look at that there. There we go. Um, and if we put the scope into XY mode, we can see the Lisa's view figure. Okay, um, I have a voltmeter which is connected to the um, jack which is supplying the volts per octave. In this case I'm using the U-Synth CV standards which is really handy because you can switch between the octaves quickly. Um, and the first step is we need to apply a volt and then we tune the oscillator to the 100 hertz input. Um, I'm going to remove the temperature for now. Okay, so you can see the pattern has changed as I come down frequency and we get to that's close to 100 hertz, a bit flat, and you can see the aim of the game here is to make the image stop moving. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, so we'll add another volt to the input. Okay, we now have two volts. And we can see that we're running um, a little bit quicker. So what we have to do with the scaling pot is actually make that faster. And you can see it starts to rotate quicker. And then we drop it back down an octave. I'm going to retune using the fine tune. Okay. Back up an octave, still running a bit fast. So again, we use the scale pot. Turn that up. Back down to one octave. 
retune. Okay, that's getting closer. You can see the rotation's a lot slower. But we're trying to get a stationary image. I'm not sure how successful it will be. Um, okay, so still running a little bit fast. So we increase this pot. Back down an octave. Retune. Back up an octave. That's pretty good. Still running a little bit fast, but we'll just try another octave. We'll go to three volts on the input. Okay. So as it's running a bit fast, we'll just I'm gonna use smaller turns on the pot now as we're getting closer. Back down to one volt input. looking pretty good we're going to go up a couple of octaves by the time we get here it's running a lot quicker so again we'll just give that another turn back down to one volt and retune. Okay, we'll go back up the octaves. Looking very good there. Okay, so one, two, three. Four. And the fifth octave is running just a little bit flat. Now the higher octaves have a separate scale marked as linear. So I'm going to take this in one direction. I'm not sure which way. One, two. That's going to put the other pots out, so we have to start all over again and see how close we get. Definitely lower going that way, so let's go the other way, see what happens. Don't seem to be getting a consistent feel with this top end adjustment. Not sure how much more range I've got on this part. We'll give it a good blast, see what happens.
it seems to be reading more lower here, so I'm going to lower the scale a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I think it's probably just I took that a little bit too far. See, that's just running a little, I'm just a little bit eager. Okay, well I think that's actually pretty good. Thank <laughs> you.